What's up? Big celebration today. It's my half birthday. July 6, 2024. It's your boy hacker. If we can do the math, I turned 34 January 6th. Um, so July 6th is my half birthday, 33 and a half. And bigger news today, I'm officially three months sober. That's right, three months. Second time ever, ever in my life. You know, since I started a 17 year uh, addiction. Um, three months, second time ever, 91 days to be exact. Um, you know, one of the months had 31 days. So yeah, get to celebrate, you know, 90 days yesterday, today's three months, half birthday, and there's fireworks uh, tonight. I don't know if I'm going or not, but pretty excited. Um, worked out yesterday, played a full game of basketball, a pickup game. That was nice. So windy, I'm so out of shape, but like that after, like that runner's high feeling. So, you know, it's something I want to get back into. Um, you know, got my Y membership and everything. So that's the first time I went, you know, with my membership. So, you know, I think that'll definitely help, you know, new hobby and stuff. Uh, I got a nice pool too. So, yeah. Uh, today's topic is total absence. To me, that means completely sober. I'll get into that in my notes. Um, I'll get into it now. So this is what your boy wrote. Uh, total absence means absolutely completely sober. No drinking, no smoking weed, no abusing uh, medications, uh, no nothing, you know. Um, Either you can pass a drug test or you can't. I mean, it's simple as that. Uh, doesn't matter if it's legal or not. You know, no weed, no alcohol, no nothing. Um, I can proudly say I'm three months completely sober. Um, I even took it things a step further. You know, I haven't had sex in 17 months. Um, you know, I want to be sober and the best version of myself before I date again. Um... You know, I want my next one to be my last one. You know, fall in love, settle down. I'm not getting any younger, but I'm not going to rush it either. You know, uh, I am going to be picky and have standards and, you know, want, you know, I'm not ready yet either, but I want to be, you know, uh, authentic, pure, natural. You know, just, you know, if it happens, it happens. I feel like the more I do good, good things will come along, including relationships, you know, if or when that happened, so, not, obviously, I, I'm proud that, you know, I've resisted temptation, and, um, for 17 months, uh, I chose addiction over, um, sex, anyways, you know, I'd rather have a drink, or a bag, or go play Keno, I'd rather play Keno than have sex, that was, you know, while I was an act of addiction, that's how it was, so, yeah, plus my OCD, like, I need to, like, use this kind of mindset. Like, I'm one away from my favorite number, my body count. I know how that sounds. But, uh, so I, st I was like, nope, that's another reason. Like, next one, last one. Like, I mean, obviously nothing's guaranteed, but that's my intentions. Like, get married, one girl, you know, the rest of your life, you know, like a storybook love movie. Like, my favorite love movie is A Walk to Remember, you know, and this is before. I've always been a bad boy, troublemaker, however you want to word it, you know. And then he finds the right girl, you know, this really sweet, innocent, religious Christian girl, you know. And she, she you know, he happened, she's like, I've always wanted to witness a miracle. And he was that miracle. I wanted to be that miracle. Doesn't have to be for a girl necessarily, but I somehow knew, like, that's going to be me one day. Here I am, you know, just got to put the work in and see what happens but yeah anyways you know I, I just don't want to hurt anyone ever again you know so you know, I live such a selfish life cause so much pain and trauma and hurt you know I don't I don't ever want to do that again you know I used to I used to get so upset when people would say they were sober and then a week later you see them drinking but hey they're not doing drugs so they're sober no that's not how it works in my opinion all right now, honestly, uh, like, what brings you back to re relapse, you know, isn't, like, 
the drugs or anything. It's your thought process. That's the addiction, like how you think and your behaviors. Um, the first time I graduated IOP six years ago, six years ago, I stopped drinking and I got into drugs just to be petty because I hated when people were like, stop doing drugs and still drink, but say they were sober. It's like, you know what? I'm going to stop drinking. I'm going to do drugs and say I'm sober. Well, um, look at me now. I'm in IOP again. So see how that turned out. You know, just added more addictions and more problems. And yeah, this is, you know, like I said, this is the only, the second time in 17 years of addiction that I've made it three months. Um, my longest is 126 days. Um, getting closer. Um, obviously, forever is the goal, one day at a time. I'm happy with this milestone. Excited for the next one. I'm not sure what the next one is. 14 weeks maybe or four months. I don't know. I have to have a sober app that keeps track. So, you know, everyone has their own journey and own definition of being sober. I'm just focused on mine. So, this is just about my journey and, you know, my process. Everyone's different. Everyone has a different path. You know, whatever works, works, you know. Um, and I've always been an all or nothing type of person. Well, the only all, all or nothing I want to do from now on is all the way sober, completely sober. I've wasted over half my life on addiction, shortcuts, and loopholes. It got me nowhere. Homeless, broke, in debt, you know, losing my car, jobless, you know, lost everything, had nothing. You know, I wasted and lost so much time, and you can't get time back. Um, but that was just a chapter. That chapter is over. You know, I have an addiction disorder. You know, that could lead to anything besides just drinking and drugs. You know, I got to get help and work on it every single day to stop myself from being addicted to other things. You know, food, uh, candy, um, anything. What, I don't know, gambling. Um, you know, I've always had issues with gambling and gambling with my life in general, um, really. So, you know, well, that that ends that ends now. No more gambling at all. Yeah. So, you know, I gotta go all in on this sobriety, and I'm going to. You know, I'm excited for the next milestones. Um, I'm really proud of this one. It feels more genuine than any the other time I hit 90, but this feels, it just feels really good. I have a, like a real positive energy. Um, I'm like, I feel like it's an out of body experience seeing other people do things and just kind of like thinking before I do anything and kind of that boundary, like, hey, I'm thinking about relapsing. It's like, I can't help go see someone. Cause like, if you talk to me, you might trigger me and I'm not trying to get brought down to that level, you know? So that, that is kind of tough because, yeah, sure, I'm not, like, in recovery. I'm still in sobriety, so I can't, it's hard for me to really help anyone else. And I hope these videos help, you know. Um, it helps me, you know, and that's, you know, that's my focus, really. You know, I'm here for me, and I think the rest will come along the way, you know. So, yeah, once again, yeah, I appreciate you guys watching and all the love and support. It means so much to me. It really does. I wish I could sh like show it better. Um, yeah. I'll cry one of these days. When I get to 127, uh, I'll definitely I'll cry just thinking about it. Because it's going to be like my Super Bowl. And then every day after that, I'm going to be a Super Bowl champ. Because every day after I'm going to stay sober, it's another victory. Today it feels like a victory. It's like a playoff win. You know, I'm trying to play in to get to that Super Bowl. And it's, I don't know, sports analogies. But anyways, I love you all. Have a great day. Thanks for watching. Be safe. Be smart. I know it's July 4th weekend, so don't drink and drive. Enjoy the fireworks. And, like, I watched fireworks last two nights and just, just enjoy that moment. Like, literally live in that moment. Embrace it. Don't have your phone down and, you know, videoing the whole thing and stuff. Put your phone down and enjoy nature. Enjoy the beauty enjoy people you're around with and love you know time goes by quick life goes by quick so yeah thanks for watching love you all have a great day have a good weekend happy saturday yo bye